crushed by the giant foot of Jerry Nightmare. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Artifacts J18 scale pre-painted Levi figure from the Attack on Titan TV series. If you're trying to get this statue yourself, you can get it at Biggity Big 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Gotta give a big thanks to Kotobukiya once again for making this review possible. Check the latest coming from Kotobukiya in the links in the description below. I really like this a lot. You can see some chains coming across over here. Get some product shots of Levi right there on the side then come around the back some more product shots looking really cool you can see all three that have been released then on the other side we get another cool picture of Levi looking pretty sweet not much at the top and not much more at the bottom all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's Captain Levi out of the packaging once again Kota Bikia doing a fantastic job with these artifacts J statues I really like the pose on this guy I love that he's holding this sword upside down as Levi does he's the only scout I know that does that I think that's really really cool that they got that detail in there I really like the blades attached right here to the base. The base is very, very impressive. It's worth noting that all four of these blades and the tubes all come separately in these little bags that are smushed between a couple of pieces of cardboard so they don't get bent or anything. Just like the Aaron and Mikasa statues, we get this unique tree base for Levi over here looking really cool with this paint variation. Nice sculpt, making it look like it's made out of a real tree. And then you get all these busted up blades that are all jagged and everything that you can plug right in there. I really like the silver paint on these and I really like all the attention to detail to all the scuffs and scratches on each of these blades. And the instructions are very specific on how you plug everything in. You just plug that right in there. A little bit of splotchage right over there and then some really nice cuts right here in the tree. I love the way those are sculpted. The tree just looks very realistic. Now this blade right over here, this one doesn't really stay in as well. You can see the white bit, you know, is kind of sticking out a little bit and I don't want to put any more pressure on it than I already have. But still nice paint on the blade, all jagged. And out of the three statues, I would say that Levi plugs into the base the easiest. He's just got this one white tab that goes right in there and he holds very nicely especially with this dynamic pose. And again, we're getting some really nice details right here. A lot of nice wrinkles in the pants. The buckles came out very clean. I love the silver paint apps, especially like the fading effect going on right here with the shadows on the boots. The boots look really, really cool. All these straps came out very nicely, painted very clean. Got some nice treads sculpted at the bottom of the boots as well. The gas tank looks really good. The blade holster looks very nice as well. And I do notice that this is not as dirty as the Mikasa one. And then again, nice gunmetal paint and silver. I like the variety of silvers and gunmetal colors that we got going on over here. Plugging the tubes in and all that is very easy. It's very well explained in the directions. They have little letters indicating which tube is which. It is kind of tricky to see, but there's this really nice light blue shadowing effect going on in his white shirt. And I think that looks really cool. And you got his wings of freedom right over here on his jacket. Sculpted on there very nicely. Again, I really like I like this pose for Levi. I think it's a very cool pose for him and I really like the facial expression. You know, his eyes are always half open. I think they got that dead on. Very cool looking Levi. We got some color variation right here in his hair. So it's not just a solid black color. You can see it's like a very kind of dark brown color mixed in there with the black. So you have some nice shadowing effects going on with this green. I love the green paint on these ponchos. They just look awesome, man. Love that they have him holding this blade upside down. I thought that was just so cool that he was the only one that I saw doing that. And I just thought that was really neat they added this to the statue. I like the other attack on Titan statues from Kotobukiya, you can remove the head and remove the poncho. So that just comes off right there. And then we could remove that. And then he does have his little scarf bit. Uh, he has an interchangeable piece. So this is the one he just had on with his poncho, the regular one. Then here's a little replacement piece that you tab on there when you take off the poncho and hoodie. So you can see the difference between the two of these right here. This just tabs in very nicely right over here. Goes in there very well. Here's option number two for Levi. Looking really cool still. Really liking how the Wings of Freedom came out right there. Got a tiny bit of paint scuffage right there. I don't know how that happened, but otherwise this is looking really, really nice. Really digging these blades. Just one last look at this. I like all the little silver buttons on here. He has some nice shading going on right here on his beige jacket. I think that looks really cool. All these little pieces and components in here, they're all sculpted and painted very well. Now this is a 1 8 scale statue. It looks like Levi is standing up to about 11 inches tall. Here's Kota Bikia Levi compared to the Figma Levi. And you can see they definitely have different color palettes. The boots for sure are a different color. Very difficult trying to replicate this pose over here with the Figma figure. Then here's Levi next to Mikasa and Aaron and these all look really awesome. I love that they gave them all unique bases over here. These trees are not just reused. I think they all look fantastic in their own way. Great poses by Kotobukiya. I'm really digging them. And of course, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Let Down Spider-Man. So once again, I think this is an excellent piece. I really dig it a lot. A couple of minor gripes, I guess, with the paint, but overall, I think it's just a magnificent piece. I really like it a lot, and I think Kotobukiya is doing some awesome stuff. I cannot wait for the Titan Yeager to come out from Kotobukiya. That's gonna be awesome. And I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out my review of the 
Mayfex Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man figure. If you haven't seen that, check over there. Then also check out my review of the Kotobukiya Artifacts, J. Mikasa Ackerman. Check that out right down there. Also, please check out the Shardimus Wang channel if you got the time for it. And don't forget to check out ToyNewsEye.com for a photo gallery of images and the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>